Lesson 6.2 Beyond of the Technological Transfer Model The unpredictability of interdisciplinary research projects take us back to the development of new processes and models for interaction between, on the one hand, universities and, on the other hand, public administration and industry. The traditional framework for collaboration revolves around the concept of technology transfer, based essentially on a model of the supply of research in response to the demand of industry or public administration, entailing the undirectional transfer of technological solutions. On that model, enterprises and local government express their demand for technology to deal with critical contingent factors, acquire the technological solution, and then apply it to resolve the problem that gave a rise to the demand in the first place. The rationale behind the technology transfer is that the problem to be resolved is generally a given. As such, it forms the foundational basis of the collaboration agreement, which set out the specification required for the solution to match and meet the needs stated. But by doing so, it imposed limits and barriers in practice to potential opportunities. A research project that strictly adheres to the specification imposed by an enterprise or local government in need of a solution to a specific problem will clearly be of less relevance and utility than one which develops alternative scenarios of greater value in terms of efficientness and efficiency. An example would be to stay within the sports sector, we look at the recent lesson, a research project to develop a solution that enables runners to drink in order to take medicine while tra training, which alongside proposal to improve the design of water bottles, also explores more advanced solutions such as 1. Granulated medicine that do not, do not need to be dissolved in water, 2. Transdermal solution, such as a patch that delivers medication. 3. Through the skin and directly into the bloodstream without the need or for invasive instruments. 4. More targeted and precise nanopharmaceutical solution, where medicines are delivered by nanoparticles that transfer active agents directly to a local, localized, localized part of the body without their dispersion. As such, the identification of generally circumscribed needs and requirements constitutes a brittle holding back research and forcing it to focus on resolving a specific issue instead of addressing the wide matter as a whole. The research fields that elude the model are those that lie outside the explicit and evidence context, defined from the outside where the analytic framework is predetermined in some way. That is the nature of issues that fall within big challenges and missions marked by shared and common purpose, which are able to express wide-ranging concerned demand answer that are not preset or rigid, but the fruit of collaboration between complementary methodologies and diverse players in the field. And it's uh, only once the self-referential approach is overcome that those players can contribute best to the territorial growth and development. Thus, the digital revolution once again rebels its paradigmatic nature, 
which calls for the elaboration and development of a new relational model for the various players involved. The transformation that changing our way of being and our way of interacting is so radical as to be irreprehensible. It's hard to understand in its specific characteristic in inter an internal relationship, in determining factors, in reciprocal conditioning, and above all, in its boundaries. In this framework, the self-referentiality of players involved and has emerged as a bias which is misleading and limit both the interpretation of what is happening and the identification of action plans. Policy making has limited itself to incentivizing investments for the introduction of technology without offering, however, any support for the framing of problematics and without managing to develop consistent industry policy, policy actions to meet the challenges of the digital transition. The digital transformation, however, is also producing an impact on people, driving such fast and sudden change as to lead us to redefine the sense itself of life experience, as consolidated processes progressively lose their consistency and coherence. The data we create through our records dominate our decisions but also the strategies and operations of productive and economic systems. They now, now find themselves compelled to deal with ever more dynamic and vague demands and, and markets, where products tend to disappear and give way to new goods and, above all, completely new services, in which, in contrast to the past, the singularity of the individual has become an economic rather than ideological driver.